Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as Rome. In the de Deity Modded uh, game. So, uh, we are in the process of trying to kill uh, Egypt. It's going to take a little bit of time. We finished over here in Aquarium. I'm not sure if we want to uh, do anything. Now, in terms of technology, in terms of tech... Nology. We are on the launching the Mars nanotechnology, uh, ba -da -ba 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 -bum. uh, the thingy here, the Mars colony, but we're not, we're not in a rush, right? We've got time to kill the AI. We can have a little bit of fun with the game. Uh, what I will do in this city is I'm just going to do uh, a few campus research grants. I think that would be a perfectly reasonable thing to do. I want to, what, I'm, what, what my strategy is, is here right now is I'm trying to reduce the amount of uh, interactions I have to do in my cities per turn. So I'm just going to try to like uh, do that. We built another AT crew. Let's go ahead and get another AT crew. What we're trying to do is trying to build up a robust army to be able to just kind of fill in all these tiles and, 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 and block things out. Over here in Medina, there's a bit of repair work to be done, so we'll go ahead and get the sewer. We'll just do some basic repair work. Uh, now, I'm actually curious, can I queue up repair work? Repair the shrine and the workshop. And that'll be a little bit of repair work that'll keep that busy, uh, the busy city, the city busy, so you don't have to quite spend so much time on it. Okay, over here in Rome, we have a spy i'm gonna go ahead and take the technologist why not seems like a pretty okay one to grab let's head in down over there i got my artillery in position now this artillery definitely wants to make friends with this drone so i'm gonna pull you out of there i'm gonna pop you in there and now you have pretty good range although you don't have range on the city unfortunately you don't quite have that range but we will want to get some experience on you so that we can maybe get you leveled up to where you might be able to hit that city uh, and for now, we're just going to try and do a little bit of damage to these districts while we wait for our bombers to take care of Cairo. Because right now, until we have rocket artillery, our artillery is a little bit vulnerable. Uh, I could turn this guy into a nuclear sub. I think I was trying to come down here to meet up with this privateer to try and combine them together. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm hoping that it does. Okay, we've got mechanized infantry over here. Let's go ahead and bring these this guy out. I'm gonna sit them, sit them beside this uh, AA gun so that their air, aircraft take a little bit of damage when they try to bomb it. You would like a military alliance? Sure, I'll take that deal. That seems totally fine to me. Okay, I'm expecting the fighters to attack the uh, guy here, and they take a little bit of damage in response. Okay, and now we're in the Atomic Era, and uh, there's a storm raging through my empire, doing a lot of damage. We now have Modern AT as an option, and we will be upgrading wherever it makes sense. Because this will be a significant power level upgrade, uh, a total of 10, which is not a huge amount, but 10 is pretty significant. We'll do a few upgrades. You have a promotion as well. We got a dedication here. I'm going to go ahead and take two arms. And we've completed the Manhattan Project. So let's go ahead and build a nuclear device. And in fact, we could build a nuclear device in here as well. The city isn't doing anything else. It'll take it a while, but it, it will get it eventually. And we'll finish the modern AT in here. Wait, is that... Was your encampment pillaged? It was. Let's go ahead and repair the encampment. Let's, uh, let's queue up some repair work. And I think we're going to do the same thing over here in uh, Kume. Kume's got a little bit of repair work to do. Need the airport and the industrial zone, the food market and the bath repair. Got a lot of repair work to do in here. I'm also going to need builders to, uh, to tidy this up. So I might go ahead and purchase a builder in there. I've got this spy here. Let's go ahead and send it to Sweden. Keep causing problems for Sweden. I think that's fun. All right, we've got our bombers here. Let's go ahead and do some damage to Cairo. Slowly but surely, are we shredding 
No, I could have sworn I had a, another airplane. Get you to keep shooting here. Slowly damaging Tripoli. I'm going to upgrade this machine gunner to incendiaries. You're going to hang out there. You're going to fortify there. That artillery is going to attack. You're going to wait there. Ah, and there it is. So let's rebase you in Medina. Let's get you to there. Pop you in here. Combine together. And you're going to take a lot of damage, but you should survive. Oh, no, you might not, actually. That's a lot of frigates. I'm going to refuse the peace. And you should be able to run away here. If winning isn't it, if winning isn't it. And you'll be able to become a nuclear submarine. Let's go ahead and air attack Cairo. We'll start doing significant amounts of damage to it. Priority target. What is this? What is that button? I've never seen that button before. Also, delightfully colorized mod in here. Wonderbar. I've never seen that priority target button. All right, let's go ahead and bomb that. We're hitting the city now. You have a promotion. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the close air support because dealing damage to units would be nice. Oh dear, we have a lot of work to do to put this city back together because it has been ravaged. So let's purchase a couple of builders in here. Do a little bit of damage here and there. Could do a decent chunk of damage, but I'm worried about getting bombed by those aircraft. You know what? Let's... Let's get into position. Let's bring our AA up as well to defend these guys, because these guys are more likely to get hit. Just wait there. I'm going to take the uh, promotion on you. And we'll go to the next turn. Sure, I'll sell you my gems. That seems fine. We have governor titles that we don't really care about. Goodbye. My AA gun did a little bit of damage, but not quite enough. And we did lose a modern AT. But we can keep hitting this city. Now this modern AT will be able to take it. Let's queue up some repair work. To keep the city busy. We will keep Cairo. We're generating a decent amount of grievances against, grievances against this guy, but that's okay. At long last, we get to take our revenge upon Arabia. And we're going to nuke them too. Don't forget that. We're going to nuke them next turn. Uh, I think I might nuke Damascus and then like attack it really quickly. Get the repair work started. Now, we could put uh, wind farms in here, but I think I'm, I'm going to prioritize mines. Let's get this AT crew moving. Bring you back to become a nuke. Making a decent amount of uranium. I believe there's more uranium down here somewhere. Let me just try and remember. We go here. Sure, we'll get an economic alliance with you. That seems perfectly reasonable. We're going to have rocket artillery and mobile SAMs next turn. Which will help with defending against the aircraft. 
Arms is flipping independent, so let's go ahead and renew that mission. We'll come here, we'll upgrade you to a rocket artillery. Bam. So you now have an attack range of four, which should mean that you can bombard pretty far away. We need vision range. We need vision on the city. So perhaps... We can pop you there. We'll bring you there and upgrade you to a mobile SAM. Because you have a 100 anti-air strength. I wonder if... Do, do mobile SAMs work in overlap? That's an interesting question. And we'll get to work on nanotechnology. We do want to win the game eventually. Um, let's go ahead and make another nuclear bomb in here. I think we'll nuke next turn. You definitely... We got another modern AT here. Let's bring this guy down to fight the fight. And you are going to... I guess having a few more mobile SAMs would be good. Uh, now we could nuclear strike a city i kind of want to nuke damascus and then hit it but i'm going to wait a turn well you know what there's no reason not to nuke it this turn wait first we have to get that you have to get set up for a nuclear strike and it's really really important that we're able to get rid of the ui so let's grab this bomber right here in caesar augusta wmd strike click Commence the bombing mission. Click. Enter screenshot mode. Here, here comes the plane. Oh, look at that. A thing of beauty. Completely obliterated. It's covered in contaminated radioactive waste. An absolute war crime committed at my command. How joyous. Wouldn't it be a game? Would it not be a game of save if that didn't happen? Uh, let's go ahead and what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop you over here so I can do a little bit of bombing of Homs. You have a promotion, but I'm going to prioritize doing damage. Because I think I can rip this city down next turn. Keep just working on getting that promotion for yourself. I know I'm curious. Um, I actually really would like to hear. Do you guys have any suggestions uh, for how I could improve my Let's Plays? Because I think the community has some pretty good ideas a lot of the time. And, uh, you know, I've been trying to make some improvements about how, how I do these things. But sometimes it's hard to come up with new ideas. Um, I've also been like looking at a lot of other YouTube channels and stuff and how they do things. Um, it's very different to how I do things, and I see them getting quite a bit of a success. And I'm curious, like, is one of these things, should I, should I maybe try to follow the way those guys do it, and then maybe alienate my current viewers, but maybe appeal to a wider audience? It, it is a very difficult um, sort of topic. Left. I'm having a hard time making a decision about how I want to... Uh, the long-term sort of goals of my YouTube channel. But I, I do plan on making, like, an update video. Uh... You may have already seen it by the time this video comes out, because I'm recording this on Saturday. We're just going to do a little bit of a regular damage and take out Homs. And then we'll use our mechanized infantry to grab Damascus. Bit of a lightning warfare going on here. And uh, these cities should just naturally flip to me, actually. But let's keep... And keep. We got a machine gun army here. Did I safely park you here? You might get hit. Uh, over here? Let's keep making machine guns. Uh, right, so you're fully repaired, essentially. Let's go ahead and repair the outer defenses. Over here, you have a little bit of repair work to do. Let's prioritize the repair work. And then we'll move on from there. And similarly over here, we will uh, ideally prioritize the repair work once the city is uh, no longer contaminated. 
So let's go ahead and in the meantime, we'll work on a commercial hub investment just to keep the city busy. Uh, I'm going to promote you with the space, space initiative promotion. And uh, that should speed up projects here. Just going to have you wait there. Okay, put a mine down there. The city is reasonably well put back together. Let's go ahead and turn back on yield accounts. Very, very satisfying to nuke your guy. It's getting a lot of these guys to wait for me. Let's get you to heal up. Alrighty. Ouchies. But well, you did survive, and you got a bit of experience out of that. Machine guns fall off hard in the late game. Ouchies. Alright, so we can do the Mars uh, launcher project. Now, did we ever get around to... Yeah, we did. So, we'll queue that up. Uh... Obviously, wait, hold on. I want to finish my, I want to finish my nuclear missile first. Excuse me, my nuclear device rather. And uh, I want to reveal some of these late game techs. So obviously, we need to get to robotics and nuclear fusion. Jet fighters, missile cruisers. Okay, we repaired the outer defenses here. Go ahead and bomb these guys a little bit. Oh dear, you were taking some pretty hefty damage hanging out in the uh, nuclear fallout. Can you scout this for me? Get my drone over here. You can hit that, but I'm going to take the crew weapons because I want to promote you. Um, so over here, I think it would be perfectly fine to go for a research lab. Long-term benefits, all that sort of stuff. And we'll start bombing Hatton. 11 turns, 12 turns. Actually, we might be better off to work on something like Halab. Let's bring you up there and fortify. What's your range? You can hit Halab. Okay, where's my other plane? Go ahead and hit Halab. One more shot with a bomber should make this city capturable. That'll give us even more uh, loyalty pressure. So we're just going to try and uh, take out Arabia and leave them just with Barca. That's the plan. We're going to take everything but Barca. So I think what I'll do is I'll just queue up all these basic buildings just to keep the city busy. Uh, right here, we got ourselves another AT crew army. Move you on down. And let's start doing a little bit of repair work on this builder. I'm sure there's some pillaged... Uh, things over here that I could work on. Now, you could become a submarine, but we don't need that. I'm going to have you fortify there. There's not much use for you. You're hanging out there. I am very, very happy with how this game is going so far. I'm going to pop you out and kill that guy. Well, not quite. Well, let's bring you up here and then kill him. Very, very nice. This is what we call a late game war. Because we are doing some crazy damage. Now, the question is, uh, how long would it take? Renew that mission. This is going to go independent in 13 turns. I'm going to speed that along a little bit with the use of jet bombers and the uh, rocket artillery. Alright, we'll attack that city there, and then you, are you in range? You are. These things have a crazy range, by the way. I'll point that out. It is legitimately insane the kind of range that you can get on these bombers. We should be able to take that next turn. Pop you in there. Let's get you guys to heal up. Uh, yes, why? 
Of course I would like to get free money from the AI because I've been hit by a disaster. Oh, let's make sure that we're purchasing um, builders in the capital. What do you do, Gustav Eiffel? Oh, I guess I could have built a wonder with you, but we never got around to it. Um, are there any late game wonders that I would like? Let's, let's check here. No, mostly the Golden Gate Bridge. Which would be kind of a funny thing to do over here, but I think I think we'll skip out on that. So I want to make sure that I'm purchasing builders in here to feed into. It would probably be better to get them in Lugdinium, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. We're not making a huge amount of cash, but we're making a decent amount. Over here we completed the zoo. And let's just keep making sure that we are building nuclear devices in a reasonable number of places. Gonna head over there and get that repaired. We've got a little bit of repair work. Looks like uh, the fallout is still pretty bad over in Damascus. That'll be okay. Bring this AT crew over here. Not a lot to do with these guys this turn. Let's go ahead and gain sources and we'll see what we can do. Sure thing, make peace. Seed all of the things. No, thank you. Why? Absolutely, we should give me free things. Thank you. Moderate flood. Alright, allow me to take this city out with my AT crew. Hopefully that kills that aircraft. You're going independent in six turns. Let's go ahead and shoot this. Let's link you guys together. We'll keep the city. And uh, Arabia... Oh, that's an interesting border. <laughs> A little isolated encampment there. That's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot that guy. And then attack that guy. Very nice. Alright, so we've got three bombers to play with, and we've been chipping away at Tripoli for a while. Not doing a huge amount of damage, but slowly chipping away the defenses. I suppose now is a good time to bring these guys to bear. You know what we could do that would be really funny? If we nuclear strike Hong Kong and then liberate it, that would be really funny. Here we go, boys. Here he comes. I forgot to turn off the yield icons. There we go. Why is the hotkey for that? And kaboom! Oh, that is a thing of beauty. I believe this is the first Let's Play. Is it maybe the first or the second Let's Play where I've ever actually nuked anyone? I don't know. I just I never saw a reason to in my previous Let's Play, so I never did. Go ahead and capture that city. And then we're going to liberate it. <laughs> oh, okay. We liberated the city we just nuked. Amazing. Beautiful. Awesome. Hilarious. Excellent. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and start bombing Tripoli. Alrighty. Uh, over here, we're just going to queue up the basic buildings. Keep this city busy for a while so we don't have to click on it so often and you know sort of similar stuff in here we'll queue up the really basic sort of uh you know buildings i don't super hardcore care about now i would actually like to purchase a nuclear power plant but that's really not an option i have been called to dinner but because i am a dedicated and you know, handsome and perfect YouTuber. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to finish this game because <laughs> I've been surprised with dinner, but I was in the middle of recording. So unfortunately. Anyway, look, this episode might be a little bit shorter, not because I wanted to be shorter, but because there's food downstairs and it's really warm and I can smell it. And now I'm hungry. Uh, you know, I think those are things that all of you guys can identify with. 
but we'll, we'll run down that. Maybe we'll go to 30 minutes and then quickly clean it up. All right, let's go ahead and accept that gift. I'll accept that gift. Oh no, I'm going to be given lots of gifts. But I'm, I'm having a, you know, I think I'm having a lot more fun in the late game. So I think I was kind of ruining the late game for myself, right? Where I was doing things like, you know, I was just trying to get through the turns where I feel like I'm actually having a lot more fun if I give myself something like a side goal, like killing Arabia, like just doing it for fun. It's not serving any major objective. Like we don't need to do this, but it's fun to do. So why shouldn't we do it? Um, so yeah, I think I think that's going to be maybe a major change to how I do things, which is kind of going back to what I was saying earlier. Do you guys have any suggestions? That sort of thing. We'll get the bath and stuff repaired in here. Um, over here. I'll work on a stadium for the extra amenities. I'm going to start bombing Tripoli. So I need a melee unit. With the range to take out Tripoli. We will have another nuke in five turns. And uh, we could be building more. That's definitely something we want to hang out. Uh, get to work on. But I also need to repair a lot of these things. And so that's important to me too. Uh, let's have a look down here. Let's queue up some repairs. Synagogue and factory. I might leave the coal power plant broken. We'll see. Uh, this city has been fully repaired. So why don't you build me that and then go ahead and work on a nuclear device for me. Um, let's see here. I had a really cool idea. Um, for a... For a, like... You know the way they release, um, usually when Civilization releases a game, they release like a game in between the Civ games. I had a really cool idea of a game where like you only ever had one city and like your city slowly expanded and you would build, you would use like the district mechanic to expand your city. You would build like little villages and stuff like that. I thought that would be like really, really fun. To, and like the range, the like range of your city would increase over time as your population increased and all that sort of stuff. I thought that would be a lot of fun. Or maybe, or maybe you could have cities that had theoretically infinite range, right? And you could build truly tall cities. Um, and then you could like, let's say your city reached a certain point and you're like, you know what? It's kind of like, I want to split this city in half. So you could like redistrict your city. You could say, okay, uh, this much infrastructure is going to go to this city. And then it's gonna, like almost like uh, a civilization game where your, 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 um, your empire expands kind of in the same way that like cells would divide. And then maybe as you get into the, like the later game of Civ, uh, you would need less land to support a city. So they would divide and you're like, it would almost be like using organism sort of like the organization of an organism to uh, design the gameplay of a Civ game. And I thought that would be like, that's a really cool idea in my opinion. Firaxis, hire me. <laughs> Uh, I have no, uh, I have no actual skills that they could probably make use of, so it's very unlikely that they would ever hire me, except as maybe a QA. I definitely, I could definitely find some bugs. Let me tell you. Um, okay, so I think we're, I think we're going to call it here. We're about thirty minutes in, and we made some good progress. We threw some nukes. We're having a good time. We're throwing out ideas. So I'm going to call it there, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.